Taking a live view right now from uh, our Chatham Parkway Toyota overhead sky camera. Looking a little bit more out to the north northwest here, and we're actually seeing a little bit of shower activity here across parts of the low country. That's associated with the sea breeze trying to make its way on inland, so it'll be hot and humid today. A mix of those sun and clouds with uh, some scattered showers and storms, especially the next couple of hours as a lot of this activity should be winding down by sunset, which is about 820 this evening. We are going to see temperatures right about 90 degrees the next couple of hours, 40% chance for that shower and storm through 3 p.m. But notice how it's down to 30% into your 4 o'clock hour as we are looking at a little dry weather building on in here later today. Highs again right about 90. That's a couple degrees below average. 92 is our normal high temperature. We also have more of this east Easterly wind helping to bring in those uh, the sea breeze and help bring in some cooler temperatures right along the coast. With those persistent northeasterly winds, we also have another coastal flood advisory going through midnight tonight. You could see some water really filling up into the marsh areas. Don't expect Highway 80 to flood, but we're looking at about 9.3. Uh, eight feet, I believe, in here for the evening hours. So a lot of water getting close to uh, a lot of the roadways over here tonight and not quite as high tomorrow. Looks like about 9.3 feet as those northeasterly winds will be continuing. Fair and fair first alert live radar showing some scattered showers. Not seeing much of any lightning out there right now, but right down Hilton Head, especially over towards the Calabogie Sound, seeing some more of the heavier rain working in with those northeasterly winds heading down to the south southwest here, heading over towards the Fusky Island, Hardy seeing a few more of those showers. Looks like maybe an isolated lightning strike over in the Hinesville area, but nothing organized as of right now as it extends down into Townsend. Again, it's working generally to the south southwest over towards Jessup by about 1241. Not much else out there right now, and that will continue to move on inland. We have a lot more sunshine. Temperature only 86 now in Hampton and Statesboro. It's 90 in Jessup, 88 in Alma, and you see the cooler temperatures now on Hilton at 81. We do have a frontal boundary down to the south of us. That's why we're seeing some cooler temperatures and more of a northeasterly flow. That's going to stick around as we move into our Thursday, but I think we'll have a little bit lower rain chances, so a little bit more sunshine coming up here for tomorrow. Hour by hour shows you that by 7 o'clock, rain chances are gone. Should be dry heading through the overnight and for the rest of our Thursday we are going to see the temperatures back in the upper 80s to maybe a few low 90s with about a 20% chance for that isolated shower or thunderstorm in here tomorrow but we bump that right back up to 50% on Friday and that's where we keep it for your weekend temperatures finally getting back into the 90s it looks like coming up into the weekend, especially it looks like our hottest day on Monday before another cold front knocks us back in the low 90s Tuesday.